My name is Candidate Daly. I joined the South Carolina National Guard, and now I'm going to flight school. I joined the South Carolina National Guard in hopes of pursuing my dream to become a Army aviator. I wanted to become a pilot just from a young age. Uh, aviation's always interested me, and for a long time, I didn't pursue it because I didn't know it was possible. Uh, the National Guard kind of gave me the opportunity to prove to me that no matter the age, it was possible. Growing up, uh, my dad was in the military before I was born, so he didn't really talk much about his military career. He's always very quiet about it, but I knew from the start that my dad was a great role model, and I knew that the Army kind of shaped him that way. So I was always interested in the military. I loved the aspect of the team that comes with it and the family you get from it. Throughout high school, as I started to realize and many other people started to realize, D1 soccer was definitely a big opportunity for me and it was something I could do to get free college and the full ride scholarships I was offered. I knew that it would only take me so far in life. Past college, I was only going to college for soccer. It wasn't, oh, I wanna get a business degree or I wanna get a degree in nursing. It was, I just wanna go to college because I wanna keep playing soccer. So that's when I decided that I wanted to pursue my other dream of aviation and pursued that uh, by going to flight school. On the civilian side, I decided to fly rotary wing rather than fixed wing because of the constant having to be on the controls. With fixed wing, I realized takeoff and landings were a lot of fun, but once you're straight and level in the sky, you're kind of just monitoring the controls and pushing a few buttons, but with helicopters, both feet, both hands are always doing something, and the situational awareness you have to have with a helicopter is a lot more than with fixed wing. At first, my family was kind of nervous for me for joining the South Carolina National Guard, but now that they seen the support system I get from the Guard and the people I've met through the Guard, they're extremely supportive of it and really excited for me. Only being in the military for a year and having the opportunity to go to Warren Officer Candidate School and going to flight school, I feel like tremendously grateful for the Guard. Uh, it's not an opportunity that a lot of people get and they given me the chance to prove myself. So I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to push my limits. I know it's gonna sound cheesy, but I'm so excited to learn so much more about aviation. Because on the civilian side, we always said that like, you really never stop learning in aviation. There's always something new to learn. And I feel like the military is just gonna give me so much more knowledge. And I'm excited. It's like the one thing that in my life, like throughout high school, I was, I had good grades, but I never applied myself. Honestly, I don't think I studied for a single test in high school. The minute I got to flight school is when I would study eight hours a day and like be okay with it. Like I wanted to study and that's when I knew that it was the career path for me. And I'm always excited to know the most nerdy stuff about aviation. Being a female pilot is honestly fun. Uh, I love the looks I get when I tell people I'm a pilot because they're like, that's, that's, just, that's not right. It's like, it's, it's not, it's perfectly okay to be a female pilot, it's just not common. And that's, I think that's what's really cool about it is you get the opportunity to do stuff that not a lot of other females do. And I hope that people do realize, other females out there, that it is possible. Honestly, throughout fly school, female pilots usually did a little bit better than the male pilots. Yeah, I, I definitely would say like, if you, if you want a career in aviation, and if you wish to become a pilot, it's not as crazy as you think it is. I thought it was insane when I was 17 years old and being like, I wanna go fly helicopters. Everyone was like, like what? I was like, I wanna fly helicopters. They're like, yeah, but how do you, how do you start? And I knew nothing about it. And I think it's okay to know nothing about what you wanna pursue. Cause that's where you learn and you get excited to learn all this stuff. I for sure definitely want to have a long career with the South Carolina National Guard. So far, with the short amount of time I've been in the Guard, they have given me a lot of great opportunities, great support system, and honestly, I've met some really good people that are great role models in my life, and I hope one day in the future, I can give that back. I really do hope that I can be a role model for future aviators. I remember my chief instructor during flight school was a female and 
she knew everything and she was a great pilot as well and I hoped one day be as good of a pilot as she was.